and Sustainable Development Goals. Thank you for your introduction. Uh, I'm Professor Yukiro Hashina of uh, Chiba University of Commerce. Um, excuse me, I should have, I should have uh, readied something in English as well. Today, I would like to talk about uh, the uh, sustainable management and education is as Japan's first 100% renewable energy university. Um, and management and education is kind of a very uh, broad suspect uh, subject. Uh, SDG refers to sustainable development goals. It's a term that was divided by the government. Firstly, um, as was introduced by uh, the Hawaiian University, um, Chiba, Chiba University of Commerce is the first Japanese uh, university to have 100% renewable energy. And we only have one campus, um, and we have achieved 100% renewable energy. This is called the uh, Noda Mega Solar Power Plant. And it's about north, uh, 15 kilometers from our first campus. We generate our electricity elsewhere. Um, the photo you see on the bottom is the uh, main campus. Uh, first, we'd like to uh, clarify why we aimed for 100% natural energy. Uh, Japan is very rich in natural energy, as you may know. Uh, and the goal is to create a decentralized uh, society uh, by employing renewable energy. Uh, as was the example in uh, the presentation for Hawaii, uh, we have to uh, respond to gro a global warming as fast as possible. And we have a responsibility to uh, use just as or make as, mu as much electricity as we use. All the energy that we use by ourselves, we also have the same responsibility to make back that energy. Uh, social engineering is. Uh, a subject where we use uh, different approaches to fix social issues. Now, each uh, decentralized society suffers from um, using or consuming time because of. Uh, Uh, Japan has a lot of potential, and therefore the question becomes how to employ many ways of uh, ways to create renewable energy by ourselves. Uh, the goal is to make sure that uh, renewable energy and the amount that we make is more than the energy that we use on a daily basis. So the idea is to go head first and start experimenting. And we'd also like to uh, employ specific examples. And this is the mentality of Bushido. The Bushido is uh, someone who works and takes action for good. Um, three years ago, uh, I proclaimed that we will make uh, Chiba University of Commerce uh, the first university with 100% renewable energy. And we had two aims for, uh, two goals for our uh, environmental 
the first goal was um, to make sure that we have, we as a Chiba University of Commerce has 100% renewable energy um, with electricity. And this was uh, just the first scope. Then after that, first we uh, tackled electricity and afterwards we tackled heat. So the second goal was uh, electricity and gas um, to make 100% renewable energy. And the third goal, uh, currently we are is still in the second goal, or sec working towards the second goal. Uh, CAN Japan is a is a stands for Climate Action Network. This is one of the platforms uh, that has been uh, revealed. And this is a process, and I don't have much time, so I can't go into specific details, but uh, what you see here, uh, this is uh, student-led act activism, um, and to the side you see hardware. So in blue you see uh, student-led activities, and in red you see hardware that was employed by uh, the school. So it wasn't that it wasn't this easy. There were uh, far more uh, steps before what was shown on the chart. Um, the two the two uh, so not only do we employ hardware and software but we also use what I like to call humanware and hardware uh, which is the thought and actions and emotions of people uh, who lead which lead to um, taking action for a cause and we also made a company called CUC Energy And of course, the financing from the school uh, created a lot of uh, had a lot of complications in terms of funding, and therefore uh, they created this company to lease and make sure that we can make uh, we can we have the financial means to achieve our goals. And uh, you'll see in the audience, uh, Professor Toshima is actually the specialist in this field. Uh, and as of last year in January, uh, we actually did accomplish our goal of having 100% renewable energy, um, and we had an award given to us, presented to us in February. Um, the lady on the far left you see is uh, Professor Takahashi. Uh, on the right, second from the right, we have uh, Professor Toshima. Uh, and on the right, we have. Uh, Head of Ministry of Environment. Uh, and uh, at the start of the year, we had uh, a lot of awards presented to us. Um, first of all, we had uh, the Ministry of Environment uh, give us the Minister of Environment Award and International Awards. Um, and now I'd like to talk about the process that it took for us to uh, get to this level. Um, we, I've left uh, specifics on the table over there, so if you'd like to take a look. We've been very lucky. Um, Chiba University of Commerce has had the mega solar panel, and it's true, we are lucky to have that. And um, right uh, when in 311, the earthquake, Uh, we started thinking about um, plans for uh, massive energy shortage, and uh, most uh, science-related colleges use too much energy that they cannot deal with a massive power outage. Now, when it comes to liberal arts colleges, 
um, about 60% of the energy that they use, most schools can manage to uh, make back with uh, their own means. And the remaining 40% is really difficult to make back. And the specialist, uh, uh, Professor Luca, thought that if we really press and go for it, maybe we could go for 100%. But it won't happen that easily. So saving energy and making energy. Um, those, are the, those are the two uh, main principles of achieving renewable energy 100%. Um, and actually for us we started really early um, we started from 2014 but other schools have started from way earlier back in the early 2000s and slowly we started developing a mind towards environmentalism and this is the manifestation of that student led so the program that we the programs that are shown here some of them are student led and we do see uh, tangible changes when students and both teachers work together to change mindsets and we did uh, we made the decision to have uh, the NODA's the NODA mega solar panel fit in 2012 And why we made that decision uh, is because and we thought that uh, while there is uh, plenty of risk that is present, uh, we did think that this was a, this would make a good uh, contribution towards environmentalism, both to society and our school. And it's the same for ICU. Uh, we uh, recently you guys uh, did implement solar panels, and I think that the uh, mentality of environmentalism is very important. So we did set out for the initial goal of uh, covering for 60% of uh, our own energy spendings. Um, so let me briefly introduce about uh, Tibetan University of Commerce. Uh, it's established in 1928. But actually, the vision of the launching this new uh, educational facility was different from just uh, merely of create, creating funds. Which means I will talk about the vision uh, when the establishment was realized. So the founder of the university is Mr. Uh, Doc Dr. Yukichi Endo, who highly respected um, Fukuzawa Yukichi, another notable researcher from Japan. Before the uh, Great Depression um, in this timeline, there has been uh, there has been so many problems over the business ethics Therefore, Professor End Endo uh, decided to include uh, the Bushido spirit, the J Japanese way of chivalry spirit, uh, into the vision of the es establishment of this new uh, regeneration facility. Uh, this terminology is coming from uh, the contribution made by uh, Inazo Nitobe and his book, Bushido. And um, what they aimed uh, to educate uh, through this facility is Chidoka, uh, standing for the leaders who have a wider perspective in the business world and a deep understanding of practical science It correlates with the vision as well. Um, their aim, uh, these people should aim not for just earning money or profits or benefits of their own. But th um, they would consider the impact um, of the each act.
and uh, utilizing uh, protocol sciences, uh, which these uh, two will enable them to identify the transformation of society by time and tackle uh, the social problems in the world. The, uh, there are two identif identifications when we say the practical science, the accounting and accountability. This is a common understanding that uh, Inazonitobe Dr. Had. It's around 120 years before today, and he wrote uh, he wrote this book, The Soul of Japan, in 1899. Interestingly, he wrote this book in, in English, and then it is translated into Japanese. He mentions the morals, um, uh, the the or originated uh, from Japan, and also the high morality or ethics actually practiced by uh, government, uh, Japanese government officials in the time of Meiji government. And it was uh, in the, ti at the same timeline where the Great Depression was happening uh, outside of Japan. So that he was wondering if uh, um, what kind of negative impact we would cause in uh, among the uh, government officials in Meiji government? Now let's deal with the key words mentioned in this book. I'm going to list out seven. First one is righteousness. Nextly, braveness, in order to practice the righteousness that I mentioned before. For example, uh, tackling uh, the gro global warming, making actions uh, to prevent them, it actually requires um, righteousness, don't you think so? And taking acts um, shows your braveness. When one has got these two elements in one person, he can he can create a great difference. G means taking care of others, taking uh, uh, the impact on other people into into your own consideration. I'm going to show uh, the, the rest of Kivas out at once, such as honor, loyalty, and stuff. And all of these keywords is uh, deeply connected to sustainable development. And actually, what I specialize in is the impact uh, assessment. And we put forward the uh, sustainable development at our goal, so that we're gonna uh, we say SDGs, and then covering these keywords, uh, we um, it, it was mentioned in the uh, former presentations. Uh, we are not gonna left anyone behind. We're gonna include. We're gonna take care of others. We're gonna involve others. And then uh, take. Uh, <coughs> they were considering gin. It's a great giver uh, for uh, for for me personally. I made the same this kind of presentation at the uh, World Union, and this is a moment that I put up the uh, the uh, similar similar slides during the presentation. We have to have something that uh, people in the world has uh, common and know and understand.
We have seen this uh, before. The logos are for, for SDGs, 17 goals to transform our world. Again, uh, uh, the key word, uh, we're going to uh, leave no one behind. Going back to the former topic, energy and the object and its uh, relations, good health and well-being, in summer, uh, because of the war uh, global warming, um, the temperature goes up and all of you felt that, right? And some other related topics, quality education, gender equality. Of course, industry, innovation, and infrastructure are included. And we have got more reduced inequalities. I, I just mentioned uh, responsible consumption and production. And peace. It is a peace building. Seizing conflicts. When you look at the African continent, there are so many of conflicts is going on over the right um, of uh, how to <coughs> over the control of course, right? I'm running out of time. Let me give you just a few moments. Accounting is just a technology, and the important thing is who going to use uh, this this kind of technologies, so that uh, using uh, u utilizing uh, these techniques or AIs. Uh, it's going to be a key to promote the SDGs and leading uh, the infor uh, informationalized society. And the fourth point, sustainability, is what I uh, specialize in. Environment and energy. And in order to do that, firstly, I'm aiming at um, ach achieving 100 uh, renewable energy uh, utilization in my university. Now, these three, uh, the key words from Bushido, the Japanese chivalry, uh, braveness and taking care of others. Sorry, I'm running out of time. I'm just going to briefly just show the slides and I'm going to end this presentation. Uh, this is about uh, Uchimizu, manually springing, uh, sprinkling water. It's an attempt of watering in early morning in order to lower the temperature in sphere. And these are Greek curtains that we created. Uh, this is a student project of... It's actually, uh, this is a small project of uh, vending machines, uh, lower the numbers that are set up in the, in the num campus. Everything uh, written down in the slide st uh, have, has been launched and started from students' proposal, actually. When you look at vending machines uh, sort of in campus, uh, you see um, some that has not been used for a long, right? So we thought that uh, we were able to carry, uh, get rid of them or replacing them uh, with uh, energy-saving machineries instead. The, all, all this happened in 2017 and 2018. And finally, a uh, wine project. This is sharing of uh, solar energy. And then ut utilizing a sharing, solar sharing. It's an attempt to create a Japanese brand new wine. I'm sorry, um, 
I'm, I'm just gonna sk skip this and move to the last slide. To the energy creation uh, workshops. I'm sorry for our time. Um, thank you for th thank you very much.